not merely seeing reality, it is touching the truth. Hello, my name is I King Skies, and today we are back with another video. And in this video, I'll be talking about SummerSlam 2020, my predictions, and basically what I think will happen at SummerSlam 2020. So let's get down to it. Uh, first of all, I wanted to let you guys know that at SummerSlam, there are rumors that a big swerve is coming between Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. So I guess we can start with that one. Um, I obviously don't know what the swerve is, but they said a swerve was coming. The reason for the swerve was because Ric Flair uh, is was obviously taken from Randy. They're not together anymore. Randy Orton punted his head. So therefore, if Randy Orton beats Drew McIntyre, it would have to be clean unless he cheats or something like that. But Randy Orton's personality, he wouldn't really cheat, you know, and the, the way he's been talking and, and stuff like that, he really wouldn't cheat or just his personality are, you know, the Viper, the Viper we know just wouldn't cheat at a match like this. Now, if we were talking about young Randy Orton, he would probably cheat, but what, this isn't young Randy Orton. This is veteran Randy Orton we're talking about, and he probably wouldn't cheat. So, I'm going to say they keep Drew McIntyre. They give the belt to Drew McIntyre, and they keep it on him this time. It will probably be a rematch, but Drew McIntyre are, you know what? Because they said it will be a swerve happening. I'm going to go with Randy Orton. Randy Orton will be winning the championship from Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam. Um, and he'll probably hold it for um, Randy Orton versus Edge. Which is kind of sad because Drew McIntyre... I mean, he'll probably be back in that title picture. But like, you know, he won't be him just seeing him as a mid card or not even a mid card or like just not in the WWE picture is just weird to me I don't know anyway let's continue with this my winner for this match will be Randy Orton okay so we are now on to the next match and this match is going to be Dominic Mysterio versus Seth Rollins at SummerSlam after Seth Rollins remove Rey Mysterio's eye at WWE Extreme Rules. I don't know. It can either go it can go either way. Cause they can make him look strong and still lose. And then he'll probably get his revenge on uh they'll probably split it. Uh the next pay-per-view. But I just don't know. Here, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say Seth Rollins will beat Dominic Mysterio. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right here. Dominic Mysterio will beat Seth Rollins. And let me tell you why. On Monday Night Raw, Seth Rollins said that he will be able to use anything to his advantage. If Dominic loses, he is basically a Dolph Ziggler now. WWE would not do that. I hope they wouldn't. He's basically a Dolph Ziggler now if he loses. I think WWE knows the stake. So that is why they give him a crutch. I think Dominic Mysterio will beat Seth Rollins. So that's my prediction. Dominic Mysterio will beat Seth Rollins. Um, yeah. Dominic Mysterio will be Seth Rollins. WWE United States Championship match. Ever since MVP debuted the championship, I've been thinking he will get it sometime. He would have got it at Extreme Rules, but um, uh, obviously Apollo Crews was out. So I'm going to obviously go MVP in this route. I think he'll be a good champion. A good champion for the um, Hurt Business. But I think it should be Bobby Lashley. 
Bobby Lashley deserves so much more than what he's getting right now. I mean, he should be a main eventer, but that's only in my mind. Who knows? Um, but MVP will win the United States Championship. And, uh, yeah, pretty pretty clean, too. Pretty Well, no. The Hurt Business, Hurt, Hurt business will probably get into the um, interference, and MVP will probably win. But, you know... MVP will win. WWE Raw Tag Team Championship, the Street Profits versus Andre, An Andre, An <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been watching Victorious recently, Andrade and Angel Garza. Now, I'm kind of hyped for this match because uh, I like the Street Profits, obviously, and you can definitely expect Bianca um, and Zelina to get involved in this match somehow distraction or something like that but i think i am going to go with angel garza and andrade i, I hate to see it by the lose but it just seems like they're going that route you know you feel me selena andrade and um angel they've been putting on some good promos and they actually caught my eye because I don't really pay attention to tag team bouts unless it's the New Day or the Usos, to be completely honest, which you are Team Hell No if you want to talk previously. But, um, yeah, they actually have caught my eye with this feud, and the promo work has been really good uh, for the most part, and uh, angles have been really good. So I've been actually paying attention, and I really like it. And I'm excited for this match. I think... Angel Garza, Garza and Andrada, Andrada and Andrade beat the Street Profits. WWE Universal Championship match. Now this will be interesting because of one thing. Not one thing in particular, but it'll really be interesting because of one thing in particular. Alexa Bliss. What will happen? at SummerSlam. Now, this is my prediction. I am trusting WWE in this to be smart because this is the obvious move to me. The Fiend is obviously a face. We all like him. None of us boo him. I mean, he's been a face ever since he's come out, basically. He got, he turned Seth Rollins into a hill. He's the reason he's a hill right now. He's a wrestling genius, so I am going to go uh, both Braun Strowman will be a heel and Bray Wyatt will be a face at the end of this match. Um, Bray Wyatt wins though. Uh, and Braun Strowman will be the monster that we Oh no, at the end of the match. Monster that is that was a heel back in the day and Bray Wyatt will be a face. Or the fiend will be a face. With not with Alexa Bliss. I involved I think Alexa Bliss will get involved somehow or some way. Uh but yeah, that's that's my prediction. The fiend wins the championship. Uh Next, we have Sasha Banks versus Asuka. And I am going to go with Asuka because WWE, at the last minute, mixed up the plans because of Kari Sane, obviously. And I think Asuka will win the championship back. Um, I really wish they would have turned her into like... Uh, I don't know what that was called, but I seen it on Twitter. It's like a old character she used to have before she wrestled in WWE, and it's like a, a, a f the fiend type character. Um, but it it's whatever. Um, it seems like Asuka really isn't mad though that they took out her friend. It's just she's just using that as an excuse to get another title opportunity. Me, I just don't understand, but. Maybe you guys see the little anger in there, but I've seen no, I mean, a little bit anger, but 
that's it. I mean, your friend just got taken out. And she will never come back. And all you're doing is screaming. That's Asha Banks and wanting your rematch. You should want revenge more than a rematch. But anyway, yes, I will take Asuka versus Sasha Banks. It'll be probably be... Nah, not match of the night. It'll probably be top three matches of the night. And, um... Asuka will win. Bailey versus to be determined. Now, obviously, whoever wins this Friday, the Battle Royale, that would be who she's facing. But we all know, and I mean we all know, that Bailey is coming out with the championship. And, um... Can we just uh, highlight, I'm looking at the match card right now, and can we just highlight that Nia Jax is not on this pay-per-view? I'm about to, hold up. Some good stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I just had to celebrate Nia Jax not being on the pay-per-view. Anyway, Bailey versus To Be Determined now, who is she facing it could be Rhea it could be Bianca I have a video on this but at the end of the day I think it'd be Naomi why because she just finished up beating on Lacey Evans and it looks like they're going to be pushing her and she's the perfect person to lose to Bailey. now if it is Rhea Ripley I would be so happy for that make her look strong may uh, Sasha Banks get a distraction in there Bailey wins that would be perfect that is my perfect solution um, it could be Charlotte <laughs> for every reason um, please God no not be Charlotte uh, not because she's a bad wrestler or anything but I'm just tired of seeing Charlotte just like everybody else uh, who else could it be my guy um i don't know i have a video on this but oh shayna baszler is obviously one uh her versus shayna would be awkward because shayna acts like a heel she's a tweener right now but she still acts like a heel um i mean she just screams heel i mean imagine shayna baszler her face Look me, well, I'm not on the camera, but look somebody did in their face and say Shayna Baszler is a face on the WWE. I promise you wouldn't be able to say that. Anyway, Bayley versus Naomi for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Bayley wins. Clean. Now, we have, uh, I think this is the last one, Matt Riddle versus Baron Corbin. Obviously, this is going to be Matt Riddle. If it's anything else, I'll be fucking pissed. But um, the way he wins will be kind of weird, though, because Sheamus and uh, which Connor will get involved. Sheamus and uh, who's the dude? Chad Gable. What's his name now? What is that stupid name that they need to change back? I don't even remember. Sh Shorty G. Shorty G is his dumb name. Anyway, Shorty G will come. You know what? I refuse to call Shorty G Shorty G. I'm going to call him Chad Gable. Chad Gable will come down to the ring and he will obviously be looking to cash in on Matt Riddle's uh, Hitman Thingy Majigger, whatever they call it. And it's that's so dumb to me i'm sorry that's just so dumb to me like you're a wwe superstar you don't have enough money so you're chasing matt riddle around anyway chad gable with a good old bro kick and that will distract baron corbin enough to get matt riddle in the win um i don't know about y'all but i really 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 want <laughs> the matt riddle and sheamus uh um team are uh because that right there I, I love the idea imagine the names in the merchandise you can make with the the finisher name like the bro kick 
bro come on now anyway that are that is my summer slam predictions um if you like this video and you like my other content as well go check that out it's really cool my name is i king skies thanks for watching and tell me what you think will happen at SummerSlam. i'm not doing anything it's quarantine so i'll definitely be able to read your message and reply back tell me what you think subscribe like and thanks <laughs> for watching for watching but what do you do when there's no place to turn i